Hey guys, Athena here. So today I want to go over the new group finder that's available here. So if you press I to open up your dungeon finder, you can just click group finder and you'll go to the new tab where you can form groups now. First thing you want to do if you're going to host your own group is you want to type in what type of content you're going to do. So for our sake here, we're going to type in upper because we want to do an upper city. So we're going to go to mythic keystones and we're going to choose upper city. Now you don't have to do this very specifically. You also can just just select dungeons. The main purpose of doing this is that when someone's looking for a key and they select dungeons, it's going to highlight only dungeons here so they can quickly and easily find your key. If you want them to know a specific key and they're looking for a specific one, so if people are only looking for a specific one, this will filter it out for you. So in this case here, I'll pick a dungeon. I'll indicate that it's an upper city. I am a DPS for this group and I am the group leader. I will do auto accepts. We'll say, let's say plus 39. And then if I list myself, I will now show up here. I have it currently set to auto accept. So anyone that tries to join this will automatically end up forming this party and joining. But you don't have to have auto accept. You can have people whisper you. You can have requirements and details in here. And you'll slowly get filled up here. Now, if I delist this one. Now, if you're looking to join a group on the right side here, you can find the groups and you can filter it based on what you're looking for. So if we're looking for a raid, if they have auto accept on, you can right click it and request invite to join and it should get you in. Same with you can whisper them. If by any chance that they don't have the auto invite on or if they haven't set themselves as group leader and that they're looking forward to join a key, you can invite them this way. So it can be a little confusing. If you want to make your own, you have to make sure you indicate that you are forming a group because if you're not forming a group, what this is indicating is that this person right here is currently looking to join a Skolomance. Now, I have a hunch that this is going to be a little bit confusing for people at first, but the most important thing to do if you're making your group for people to join, you have to indicate that you're the group leader. Otherwise, you're going to get what happens here. So I've just invited this person to join my group. He's now joined my group instead of in him running the key. I'm now going to disband this and I'm going to make him really sad. But <laughs> as you guys can see, there's now no groups because I've kicked out the group that I was supposed to be with. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the short little video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.